Okay guys, Secretary of Funk on Deck wanted to uh, come at y'all and um, <clears throat> share some funky jazz LPs uh, that I have um, that come highly recommended. I wanted to share these with you guys. Um, some of them are not so easy to come by um, as far as you know buying them goes and as far as finding them goes. But for the most part, I try to keep it kind of simple, kind of easy. Um, because I know I look at other people's videos and the first thing I do is I go see how easily affordable or accessible the LP is if I'm interested in it. So, um, I don't know if you guys do the same, but the first LP that I want to share with you is the Ted Pico uh, Quartet. This is a very, very, very funky jazz LP, especially for the most part, um, um, for side two, I found the side two on this is is just just funky as hell. And this is actually a private press. This is our independent press. This is on um, Ted Piku Piku's label. And I don't know much about Ted Piku. We all know who in the vinyl community knows probably about this stuff. If you really want to get into the funkier side of jazz is that if you're looking to get into the genre of jazz and you like shit that's funky and raw, side two of this album will do you good. Let me see if I can cue up some stuff real quick. Don't worry, I'll, I'll edit it so you're not sitting here watching me the whole time while I'm looking to cue it up. I don't even know if this is on YouTube. Let me see. So anyway, I was looking on YouTube to see if they had any um, songs off of this album that, that I could kind of prove my point to you on how funky it is. Um, and they didn't, really. They had Sleepwalker, which is nice. Listen to it. I, I'll put it in the in the comments, as usual. I'll put it in there, but believe me, that's not what I want you to hear off of this album. If you guys are savvy on downloading these albums off of like the blogs that want to share and the, the, the spread the knowledge about music, like this, I, I suggest you look this up. This is Experience by the Ted Piku, Piku Quartet. And mainly the songs that I'm talking about by him would be the song Experience, uh, Just the Blues, Kim's song. Um, those, are th those are the songs that I'm talking about. Side 2 is dope as hell on this LP. And I got this actually, see that? That's uh, Howard University, WHUR Radio. That's their catalog system. I don't know when the last time it was in there, but that's where it came from. Um, next one. This, this next one is an LP that um one of the first one of the first, not the, but one of the first uh, really expensive and really valuable LPs that I found. Um, this is Billy Brooks' uh, Windows of the Mind. Uh, this has the dopest uh, Tribe Called Quest sample off of it, called Forty Days. Yeah, this has the dope sample off of uh, Tribe's album, The People's Instinctive Travels. This uh, 40 Days is sampled on um, The Luck of Lucian, uh, that, that, that Tribe song. That's what this has on it. This is Billy Brooks, uh, Windows of the Mind. This is on Crossover. This LP man has lost its value a lot in the, in, over the years and it's kind of funny because um, it really it, it's hard to find it, it's not a lot of them out there um, so I don't know why it's kind of lost its luster I think it, at the beginning it was exciting that people found the sample that it was a tribe sample the fact that it's a tribe sample is always going to be up there in value moving on oh man here's another WHUR joint that I got um, this is Lamont Johnson's Nine. This is sick, sick jazz LP. I mean, funky throughout. And uh, check that out. And then and this this LP is this this brother's deep. Let me read you uh, something from this LP. It said that a da nine, the spiritual number, add to another number. It does not change the number. Subtract from another number gives you the number and when multiplied by another number gives you itself explore and you'll find many more properties of nine eight represents the unity of two totalities o and o turned on its side eight becomes a symbol of infinity or the universe one 
of course, is man or the individual. In composing this music, I let nine be made up of one and eight, where one represents you or me, and eight represents infinite capability or my own. The music makes the statement, you and your infin infinite capability, one plus eight, are greater than the physical universe, infinity. Nine is a song to you and me, sublime, and infinite begins flowering and growing through time indefinitely. I sing my song to you and share with you the moment eternal. Deep. Brother is deep. That's what he has. That's what that's what just that part right there says. As you can see, he has a lot more. This is funky, y'all. And he also uh, mainstream, mainstream the Red Lion series or whatever uh, has a couple of Lamont Johnson uh, LPs on it. Um, I'm actually in the process of completing the whole 300 and some and 400 series of the Red Line mainstream catalog, and so I haven't showed anything off the of mainstream um, because. I am trying to complete that complete catalog, and when I do, I'll show it in its entirety. Something like 121 or 25 LPs, and I have about 110. And so, once I finish that, then I'll show you guys that. But Lamont Johnson has uh, he has some stuff on there, but this is actually on a private press on his label. And his label is Master Scores Recording. Um, this is out of Hollywood. Yep, this is uh, Lamont Johnson's label. And that's what that looks like. Very, very nice LPR. Um, highly recommend it, man. Check it out. Third one Richard Evans dealing with hard times. If you guys want to hear some guitar playing while singing along with it, not even singing more, so scatting along with it or, or tooting along with it, that's what he's doing. He's tooting along. Look at those pictures, dealing with a hard time. This is a very affordable recommendation on everybody's list. I would consider this essential. There's not a song on here I don't like. Patutu would be one of my favorites. Angela, my sister, probably is my all time favorite on this. Just I mean, the songs are beautiful too, man. Oh my God. Um, 20 bucks maybe we could buy you this. It's been getting some attention lately. Uh, so it's, it, it's actually started to go up in price a little bit. But uh, it's on Atlantic Records. And uh, Richard Evans has released uh, a few LPs. Never had much of a successful music career as far as his own stuff. I mean, people know about his LPs, but he's more so the famous arranger. Uh, he did a lot. He, he did a lot of arrangements um, for your favorite uh, jazz musicians. I'm not gonna go too much into detail. I want to thank uh, Chris Astral Traveler. Shout out to uh, Chris because I showed this record uh, over the summer when I was getting those records from the guy from the flea market. This is uh, the Jothan or Jothan Collins. Um, <clears throat> the sounds of togetherness, uh, winds of change, and this is on Triumph Records. A real generic label. Hard to find. This guy played in the Sun Raw Orchestra. And the reason why I'm thanking Chris is because I never looked inside the jacket to see. But he showed this record as well um, and said, you know, he didn't know if mine had the booklet that came with it. And it does, man. And I would have never seen this if you didn't say anything. Like, I don't know. Normally, I always look in my record jackets because I found everything that you could put. Baggies, money, letters, some crazy letters too. I found a lot of letters. Old advertisement. I even found a, a, a Joe Lewis tobacco advertisement in one um, before. I found some crazy stuff. So I normally look in them, but I didn't. But I do have my book, Chris, so that makes me feel good that that's complete. 
Next one that I recommend. Now, this more so has some real funky charts on it than it does the whole body of work, but I can listen to this LP straight through. This is on Muse Records, and it's uh, Carlos Garnett. Highly recommend it, y'all. Please, please do yourself a favor and get this. This is nice. It can be had easily. One of my all-time favorite LPs. I had to make a vow to myself to stop spinning this until I got another copy. Um, because my copy's getting beat up. I got this a long time ago, before I even started putting plastic on my record sleeve, so you see my uh, cover scratched up. He's Harold Alexander. I think he released three or four LPs in his career. By far, my favorite one is the one that um, that uh, Chris showed. I just can't think of it. It's the one with the tree stomp, or the tree on it. I can't think of the name. Um, by far, that's my favorite one. It's, it's so complete, um, especially this guy had a crazy, he had that whole Rasan Roland Kirk way of playing his flute that, you know, that kind of thing, where he's uh, doing his thing, well, you know, I, I'm big on now, I'm going to cue up music as I'm showing it, so right now you're already hearing a song off of it, it's a monster damn song, um, <coughs> called Mama Soul. And, oh, let me show you the back. Called Mama Soul. And that's what's playing right now. This LP is something serious, y'all. Um, definitely funky. Uh, I mean, and this is one of those LPs that, depending on when you're buying it, kind of depends on how much you're going to pay. It's not something that everybody, you know, bids up every time it's on there. It, it's all over the place, to be honest with you. It really depends on the time of year that you're looking to buy it. I swear to God. Um, you know, I've seen it go for as cheap as like 40 bucks, so who knows? Um, teacher, check it out. This is Joe Thomas, man. Feelings from within. Do you have this? Um, I mean, I, I don't want to assume that you don't, so that's why I'm asking. But if you don't, man, this... Uh, this record right here, this is on Groove Merchant Records. That's where he did most of his stuff. His stuff is kind of like picking vegetables or, or, or fruits or tomatoes, cantaloupes uh, out of the grocery store. You kind of got to put it up to your ear and shake it and listen to it and feel it out because every one is not the same. Even though they're all cantaloupes, you know, there is something to be had out of the bunch. And then the rest of the stuff you really don't care about. Um, that's kind of how his LPs are on Groove Merchant, if you ask me. Those are the songs. Uh, the Polarizer, Teacher, is is a song. Look, man, look, Teacher, you might already know this, but if you don't, and for whoever else doesn't, this is the B Boy Document sample that Most Def uh, did. Cue it up, so you probably are already hearing it. Um, that's on this. This is a dope, dope. Um, <coughs> LP. I guess if you guys are watching watch my videos a lot, you remember me uh, talking about this kind of hoarder that I went up in this house and got that uh, Latin jazz quintet album out of. This came out of here too, and I had been chasing this for a while. Um, I could have bought it on eBay, but I always wanted to dig it. And for some reason, when I was going through this guy's albums, man, he just, I was just telling myself, I think I want to find that LP. And I did. And then uh, another LP that I found in his, in his uh, um, collection or whatever was Red Clay by Freddie Hubbard. I wanted to have been one that album forever, and it was in there. So I'm not, I mean, just getting those two albums out of there was, it was just so, it just gave me the sense of closure, you know. I'm going to put this one. This is coming on glue. I hate that. But this is Johnny Lytle, Be Proud. He has several LPs, um, including the one on Tuba, which is his most popular one for whatever reason, because this right here is my favorite one. Just really, really well uh, arranged and produced. Uh, 
LP. And it's not even really all that funky, but I mean, if you're in the funk and jazz and grooving, this is a this is a groove that you can get down with. Final LP is uh, Ray Bryant, Above the Rock. Um, I can listen to this straight through. The title track is a monster. I'm, I cue that up. I'm queuing that up for this video too. Title track. This is a uh, you know guys watching Jay Leno, Kevin Eubanks. Um, this is his uncle, Ray Bryant. And I'm pretty sure that you guys, if, if if you know Ray Bryant off of. Uh, Got that heavy hitter LP on New Jazz. He did his kind of funkier stuff on Cadet Records. And that's what this is on. This is on Cadet. I'll show you. It's on Cadet Records. Real nice. Um, I don't know how long this video is. I hope it's not too long. I'm trying to get my videos back down. Even though people say that they do watch the videos, I kind of want to get the videos down just for the simple fact that it doesn't take that long to edit and render them and upload them. So, um, second phone signing out, y'all.